Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review, we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball, is it super? Yeah, it has to be super, it's instinct. And this is the Premium Bandai Toyotaro Edition version of Son Goku, which is a repaint, <laughs> mostly, of the uh, Super Stink Goku from before. And that was a decent figure. Some people hated it. Some people liked it. You know how that usually goes with these sorts of things. This, I think, is going to be a little bit more polarizing. Uh, there's some things to like about this beyond the other one. And then there are some other things that make it seem like less of a good product. So this isn't going to be a full review, though, because like I said, it is mostly a repaint. We have obviously some different things going on with this special edition, but it's mostly a repaint. So it's going to be kind of a quick video, but uh, some inf information will be provided. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. Alrighty, so before we look at the figure, I do want to take a quick look at the packaging. It is special packaging. We have this giant box. Let me see. Do I have another one handy? Not really, but... Here's a uh, Luffy package. You can see it's a much bigger package. You can see inside the standard packaging is in there. So it is a big fancy package. I do think it looks very nice. Love the artwork here that the figure is based on. Gold printing here, window to see through. It's fine. You can see the figure in there obviously when it's in there. Otherwise it's more or less the same as your standard figure arts type packaging with the artwork and whatnot, except on the back you get this, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's the outer box. I do want to show you the inner box as well because I know some of you are collectors of uh, in-box figures. Oh, that's right. I opened it at the bottom. And so I'll show you. All right. So inside, you do get the booklet. I'll show you that in a second. But this is just the packaging section. All right. So you get this surprisingly nice cardboard insert to hold the regular package. All right. And that's a pretty good package as far as these things go. A little bit heavy on the Photoshop work there. I mean, they're trying to recreate that image on the front of this box, obviously. That image. So I get it. But, you know, it's not what the figure looks like really at all. They didn't give him the blue glow or anything like that. So, you know, it's a little bit a little bit dis, dis, um, disappointing, I guess. But yeah, pretty much your standard packaging there. Chrome, and then you get the little signature down there. Ultra Super Stink Toyotaro Edition. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. Uh, this part of the package, I do wanna just go back to this because they pulled a McFarlane slash Hasbro thing here, which does bother me. That's what Goku looks like. That's what they're basing it on. And then you get this, which is a decidedly wimpy looking figure compared to this. Look at the muscles around his chest and arms. And then, I mean, they, this mold is not even one of their better molds. They should have used the new mold. The new uh, Super Saiyan Goku with all the new articulation and everything. This one has not a good look compared to this. He's got a little narrow chest. His arms are very far forward. They can't go back. And it's just, it still has all the problems from before and doesn't match the artwork at all. So to me, that's a bummer. I want to know what you guys think. It's pretty disappointing. If you look at the comparison of his head size to his body... This guy's torso, his arms and chest are so wimpy looking compared to this. So to me, it's kind of a big old fail. And like, yeah, we knew, we knew it was just going to be a repaint when they announced it, but that's their choice. <laughs> it didn't have to be, and it could have been a repaint with a different body, you know, on that new body. So to me, it's kind of a bummer. All right, so let's go ahead and just uh, talk about this briefly. Uh, I'll do a comparison side by side so you can see what they look like. The core figures aren't all that different. This guy has shading around his flesh tones. It's a little orange, if you ask me, especially since he's blue in the, I mean, not blue, blue, but he's got the blue aura sort of thing going on. Uh, so it's a little orange. And then the pants have kind of like a dark grayish brown shading, not heavy, but it is there. Frankly, I think the previous release looks better. All right, the hair is about the same. It is a little bit metal flaky, but I think it still looks nice. All right, so that you can see this, the flesh tone shading is it's a bit orange, and then there's none on his back, which looks like hot garbage. Like that's just so cheap and lazy. Don't do that. Don't do that, especially on a special edition. And then, like I said, the pants, they're a little craft macaroni and cheese-ish. Uh, and the shading's there, but it's not great. So yeah, it's just, it's a very underwhelming repaint if you ask me. I think the first release actually looks better. Uh, and then we do have the difference in the faces. 
So that's actually a problem for me. Yeah, big surprise. Uh, I don't get it because if you look at the artwork here, his eyes are basically normal, right? Like that's how he's drawn most of the time by pretty much everyone who draws Goku. But then the figure itself has these really long skinny eyes that look super weird and his really big forehead. I don't like the way that looks. And then you'll see when I show you the other heads, the eyes aren't much better on the other ones either. To me, this looks really goofy. I don't care for the way it looks at all. So that's a bummer. That's a bummer for me. It does not <laughs> recreate the image that it's trying to really at all. So I don't care for that. So that's the uh, main aesthetic. You, you get to see what that is. Now, let me sh show you what he comes with. We'll get to the book in a second. The accessories are not the same. So we have two different heads. We have the one with his normal hair, and then we have the one with his uh, flowy doing an attack type of hair. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you do get that option. That's a nice thing. And as far as face plates go, you get the stern face that comes on him in the package, and you get one with his eyes closed, one where he's looking off to the side, one where his teeth are showing, and then you get the one where he's yelling. And once again, it's very strange the way they did the eyes is so big and long and then like a giant giant forehead still it's just kind of weird it doesn't really match the artwork so like they're done well they're clean well executed but i don't care for the art direction they went with to match that very specific look kind of strange and then as far as hands go you get the two fist hands and then a very basic array of other hands that's it no kamehameha like before so you do get the new head but that's it really. So as far as accessories go, I'm not thrilled. Like the new head's okay. I mean, I, I, it's nice to have options, of course. I can't complain about having a new head with the motion in the hair, but it's still like, they cut out the Kamehameha, so what the heck? All right, and then I do want to show you the book real quick. It's a nice book. It's accurate as of like August of 23, I believe it says in here somewhere. Uh, August, yeah, August of 2023, it says it's up to date as of at that time. So it's a nice book, like it's nice quality, good glossy outer sleeve with the metallic print. It's cool. The photo I feel is good enough. It does feel, I don't know. It seems like any collector could take a photo like that. So that has them all, of course. I don't know, there's just something about it that the photo seems a little amateur. I think it's the over contra high contrast oversaturation of the image. Something's weird about it, I'm not sure what. And if you don't like the sleeve or slip cover, you get this, which is another image of all the figures, or at least most of them. I don't know if they're all there, I didn't check. All right, so you get the book, and the book basically just chronicles the line of figures. Though it doesn't talk about some slight alterations like running change type things on Beerus and and different reissues and things like that. But it does mention most things in here and it's, it's good enough. It's pretty good. I'm not sure how many people really care because it doesn't really add much. It's all just the promo images, the solicitation images that we've seen for every release. You know, they don't... There's not like any behind the scenes stuff really. There's nothing special about the book other than in the beginning it has... Um, a little bit of commentary and stuff like that. But there you go again. Like, that's not what the figure looks like at all. Very frustrating. Then they go ahead and keep showing us comparison images. It's not, not the right thing. <laughs> very disappointing to me. Uh, but yeah, you get a little bit behind the scenes stuff in the very beginning of the book. Not a whole bunch. And then it goes right to the photos. So this isn't like... Like, what's your favorite figure? They're talking to the development team. Okay, I mean, I guess that's nice. But do we care what their favorite figure is or more about, like, the process and how they make things and that kind of stuff? I don't know. That's just, uh, that doesn't really matter. But that's it. And then you're into the figures. So, I don't know. Like, it's a high-quality book. It's an expensive release that I'm not sure warrants it. I'm not sure. Does anybody want this? I'm curious... Does anybody need a repaint of this enough to buy this set? Is the alternate head enough for you? Maybe the book, maybe the packaging. I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel about this. Uh, to me, I was thinking from the very beginning, it seems like a missed opportunity to make an awesome, awesome Goku. Even if they reused the new Super Saiyan Goku parts, to get a Goku that actually looks like this would have been great. But they didn't. They just gave us a repaint of a wimpy figure that wasn't even that well received when it came out. So I'm not thrilled with it. It's fine. It's okay. 
The book adds very little value to me. I already have all the figures, so I don't really need a book that shows the photos of them. Um, and that's it. So that's like, I'm not going to do a full review. It's the same figure otherwise. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and we'll talk down there, but that's it for me. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give it a thumbs down and if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos every day, but Wednesday, or at least I normally do right now. I don't cause I'm still finishing the basement, but once I finish that, we'll get back on schedule and I do have thousands of videos already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.